Hello and welcome to this session. Today we will learn how to do data driven testing in our sample API testing project in Catalon Studio and we will see how can we get data from Excel or CSV files. So this is going to be very easy and interesting. Let's get started and I will go to my Catalon Studio. I am using version 5.8.4 and here this is the project that we have already created earlier and we have also added some sample REST APIs. Let me go to the create user API and here this is a very simple API which is uh, creating a user with the data we have given here in the HTTP body and if I run this it will give me a response and it will create a user by the name Raghav and you can see the response here. Now if I want to get this uh, value username or the name value from some test data or external file like Excel or CSV what I will do is the very first thing is I will use a variable here instead of hard coding I will use a variable let us say I am using a variable called username and this I, I will define it here in the variable section I will create a variable username and here I will just say string type and just leave the default value as it is here and I will save this now I am going to add this API to a test case I can directly go to here and say add to a new test case and I will say data driven demo test and say ok and you can see this test is created here and our API is called using the keyword send request and if I go to the script view you can see here we are calling our API and here is the variable and because the default value is blank you do not see any value here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to the variable section of our test case and I will create a variable here I will I can give it any name let us say username and I can give here any default value even if you leave the default value that is fine and here I have given the variable username I will save this go back to the script mode and here I will just use the variable here so I will say user and you can see in auto completion it is shown here this is the variable I will use it here and just to verify I will also print it on the console so I will say print ln and I will say using username and I will print this username variable here so I will just verify on the console that it is taking the username here now as I said that we are going to take this value for username from a external file like an excel file so I will create an excel file let me use this I have this test data dot xlsx file and here I am going to say username I am going to give some values let me say Raghav automation and Catalon. So I am using three values for this username and I will save this and go back to my Catalon studio and you can see here we have this folder called data files here I am going to create a new test data I will right click say new test data and I can give this any name I will say test data 1 and here in the drop down you can select excel file csv file database or internal data i am going to select excel file and say ok so here it is i will browse my excel file so it is on my desktop this is my excel file i will say open and you can see all the details have come here of course the very first row is the header row so i have i will keep this checked use first row as header and this is the sheets i have this i have single sheet which is sheet 1 so all my data is coming properly here now i will save it and to use this data in my test i will create a new test suite so i will say i will go to test suite folder say new test suite and i will say data driven demo and say ok and here I will add the test case that I just created which is data driven demo test and say ok and here I will click on show data binding so once you click on here in the variable binding you should see the variable that you have created in your test case 
so you can see username is coming here the default value which I created in the test case is coming here and here in the test data I will click on add and I will use the test data one that we created here in the data file section I will say ok and here you can see the iteration if you want to run this test with all the values you can select all or you can also select specific rows or run from row number from here so I want to use all the data so I have three data sets or three values so this test should run three times with all these three values now here in the variable binding in the type or in the test data first I will go to type and say data column here in the test data I will double click and use test data one and then in the value I will again double click and click here and I will use username this is the column from our test data and say ok I will save this and I will now run this and let us see the output so our test should run three times with all the three values coming from our excel file so let us see the log viewer and you can see this is running the first time now it is running the second time and now it is running the third time so this is completed if I expand this and see here so you can see it is running with all these values the first time it is running with the value Raghav the second time it is running with the value automation and the third time it is running with the value Catalan also if I go to the console I can see the same thing here you can see it is saying using username Raghav using username automation and then using username Catalan so this is how you can do data driven testing and get the data from any external files or external sources I hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching